Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and here we are at the Intel Blaga Huta at IFA 2013. And I have a special treat for you. Earlier this morning, I did my review of the Sony UX, or sorry, QX10. So this is the small version, and then here I got my hands on the QX100. So you can see that they're definitely uh, a size difference. This is this one's $500, and this one is $250. So you can see the difference in the focal points here on the front. So the QX is 18 megapixel and the QX100 is 20 megapixels. I believe that it's set to 18 right now. There are some pretty major differences because of the height. Um, what I've noticed is here, we have the as micro SD card slot and the USB, whereas on this one, the hatch is right here and it only provides for the micro USB. The Ooh, let's see, pull that down, lock mode. The micro SD card slot is in here. So now this is actually, you know, it's, it's a bigger lens, it's a different lens, but I'm gonna actually just show you what it looks like here. Here we have the Sony Xperia Z1. So this is the brand new smartphone that Sony has just launched here at the show. It's five inches and it's waterproof. It's got that, you know, great, back glass that Sony's used to it and it's uh, running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor at 2.2 gigahertz with 2 gigabytes of RAM but we're not really here to talk about the phone we're talking about how the camera works on the phone now so you don't need a uh, Sony smartphone uh, for this to work but what you do need to do is initially pair it with NFC so there you go see the play mode then the camera turns on and then what, I, what I've noticed is easier. So you can see that the mechanism, this comes up. So I kind of put this down here and then I just pull up around the top there. Although I have chosen the power button, which may not be the best <laughs> spot to put it on. So I've moved it over there. So you can see now I have this enormous lens attached to my smartphone, nice and stable on there. So if you are looking for like a camera like a real camera to take on your vacation, this might be a really good option. So now we're going to, let's see if we can record the, let's keep it over here. So the view from the Intel Blagahuta is of the summer garden here at IFA. So now there's two ways that we can zoom in. So we can zoom in over here, or if you look at the front on the side there, there's actually a lever. And then this will actually take photos for you. So you can kind of stabilize the lens here in your front hand. Ooh, let's, let's hit back there. All right, so let's, let's do some zoom out. And then let's zoom in. All right, uh, let that focus. And we can even tap to focus. So this is paired via NFC, but it is using a Bluetooth to send the photo over so it actually copied the photo uh, over onto the onto the SD card or onto the phone I don't read German so I'm not exactly sure but what we can do is uh, if we go here we can actually select uh, which which photos you want to copy onto the phone if you choose to send the photos over instantly to the to the phone I've noticed it takes a little bit longer so here we have the photos that I've just taken so it's wirelessly reading there we go there's some of the trees, there's a ThinkPad off the Blagahuta, the umbrella, yeah. So this has just been a really quick look at the brand new lens for your smartphone, this amazing feature, $500, uh, the Sony QX100. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks, taking a look at one amazing accessory for your smartphone.